Welcome to SPS Test Kitchen. My name is Chef Aaron, and I'm here with my good friend, Chef Andrew, the executive chef of Kiko Man. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here in your test kitchen. Hey, thanks for coming. Today, we're going to be putting a vegetarian twist to one of my favorite Thai dishes, spicy basil. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Aaron's going to um, cook up some aromatics, the things that make your kitchen smell really good. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno, garlic, and ginger. Yep. Is that how you're going to start? Absolutely. And, and uh, then I'm going to start plating after you get moving along. Good. First, we're starting off with some vegetable oil. Add in some jalapenos. Once the jalapeno starts sauteing a little bit, we're going to add some garlic. A little bit of ginger. And once this hits the skillet, you start really getting that aromatic. You start smelling. Right now, we're just going to let the oil just bring out all the flavor into the skillet. Chef, did you mince that yourself or did you get it minced at the store? The best garlic is to mince it yourself using fresh garlic. And I can't tell you how beautiful a job you did with this garlic. <laughs> <laughs> now, once the jalapeno gets a little bit soft, we're going to just deglaze the pan with a little bit of vegetable stock. Excellent. Okay. okay. So, you eat Thai food a lot? I love Thai food. Mm -hmm. I live in Los Angeles, and there's a, a part of L.A. called Thai Town, mm -hmm. and there's some great places to, to uh, have really authentic stuff. Yeah, and that's one thing we're trying to do here at Seattle Public Schools is to get the authentic Thai food, authentic, authentic cultural dishes, mm -hmm. and actually introduce it to students. Students who are familiar with it so they can feel welcome, but also introduce it to students who might not be familiar with this type of food. That's awesome. So right now I'm going to add a little bit of this vegetable stock. Now we're going to add just a little bit of brown sugar, because you got to balance out the heat from the jalapenos with something that's a little bit sweet. A little sweet. And you can use any type of pepper you want. You could use habanero, serrano, you could add gochujang or any spicy. Sriracha you could add. Sriracha. Even. Now add some oyster sauce, which is the foundation to every Asian cuisine. And I think this is a, Kikoman has a vegetarian oyster sauce. So this is a vegetarian version uh, because this is a vegetarian dish. Yep. Now I finish it with a little bit of soy sauce. So I asked this cook for a little bit, and we got the, the ginger, the garlic, the jalapenos, all infusing with this soy sauce and oyster sauce. Now we're going to add some vegan crumble. But what I like about dehydrated crumbles versus the ones that you buy that kind of look like ground beef, yeah. it absorbs so much more flavor. So we rehydrated this crumble in some vegetable stock. And now as we add it to this pan, everything we have going on in this skillet, the, the crumbles is just gonna soak it up. It's gonna soak it all up. Yeah, so I think this is a little bit more affordable than some of the other crumbles on the market. It is, you know, because, because it's dehydrated, you get it more in a bulk. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually, this crumble is not just kosher certified, mm -hmm. but it's halal compliant because it's made with peas. There's no, uh, no allergens, no extra chemicals, none of the weird things you might find in other like vegan meat based items. So it is really way more healthy. Excellent. So why don't I start setting up the plate while, while this is cooking a little bit more? Mm -hmm. And one last touch, basil. I know, Thai food and Thai basil food. are natural together. Yes. That's fresh basil, right? Fresh basil. The only way to go. And you use it in the uh, commissary for the, for the students. Yes, and actually, one thing we're doing here is we want to go really more fresh, so we're in the process of building an indoor garden so we can add our own grown fresh herbs to dishes. That's awesome. That's so how awesome. you plan on playing this up, Chef? So I like, um, I like for something like this, I like family style. I think it's a fun, comfortable way to eat. So I have a big plate. You can also uh, do individual plates if you like. We just got some lettuce. This is a, a frilly leaf lettuce. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're called butter lettuce, but you're looking for a big flat leaf because it's basically gonna be your, your scoop. And it's okay if it has a little rusty on the bottom, you just trim that off. Trying to make it look pretty so that 
especially if they're vegetables. If it looks pretty, mm -hmm. maybe the maybe the kids will eat it too. Absolutely. And using a lettuce is just a great vessel for a dish like this. You were talking about uh, sugar being an important way to balance mm -hmm. in Thai food. Limes are also a great way to balance. So they have the opposite. They have the acidity. So I'm going to cut up some limes. They'll go on, on last. So what else is going on the plate? We have some fresh carrot. Red onion, I like red onion raw the best. And then some uh, radishes. So we're gonna use those to garnish the plate with. Yep. Uh, Ready? Yeah. All right, we'll pass this over to you. All right. It smells amazing. So then just put a little bit um, because everybody will have a few, you get a little basil leaf in it it's a bonus you know i think a fried egg would be a great topping for this dish nice if you're feeling artistic you can you can scatter them around remember that it's all fresh and colorful so it's going to be pretty no matter what you do most importantly when you're cooking you want to taste as you go if it's a little too sweet you can add a little vinegar or what mm -hmm. have you so you always want to taste as you go. I think the best tasting dish combines sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not sure what all of those come from. You know, vinegar is bitter. Maybe uh, lime juice can be considered bitter. So you want to you wanna do that. And, and then with this, because there's so much fresh, you get a cool crunch along mm -hmm. with the, the uh, cooked... The cooked uh, um, crumble as well. And you get that crunch from the carrots, and the, the raw onion, the radishes. And then, and the delivery is crunchy. The lettuce leaves are crunchy too. Yeah. So you can, you can squeeze some lime on top or you can just put a few lime, um, limes in the middle. And um, then the final, the oh. final go is some sweet and spicy Thai chili sauce. Sweet and spicy. So we, we got the sweetness from the brown sugar, we got spicy from the jalapenos, and now we're about to add another layer of sweet and spiciness on top. So creating food that's delicious has layers of flavor. So you just described a whole, like four or five layers that are gonna make it really nice. And this is a little spicy, but it's not spicy like sriracha. It's got a nice sweet, spice to it. There you have it, a unique, healthy, vegetarian twist to a Thai classic, spicy basil. Looks awesome, you want a bite? Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Got some heat. Oh, right on. Let's go.